the Connecting Hearts Foundation. Connecting Hearts. Finding permanent loving homes for children in need. Our Virginia Adoption Champion. You were adopted yourself. Maybe foster, maybe adopt. Adoption or fostering. November is National Adoption Month. Adopting children like Hunter. Right now there are more than 860 kids available for adoption. For 860 children. 860 kids we've got to get adopted. In Virginia, there are hundreds of children, through no fault of their own, are in need of a permanent home, a loving home. To help spread awareness and education on how these children can be adopted and fostered is Connecting Hearts. How do you have so much time to devote to this wonderful organization, the Debbie J. Johnson Foundation, and being Virginia's adoption champion? Well, being an adoptee myself, I'm very passionate about finding these superheroes in Virginia. Our goal is to raise awareness. So that is one of our main efforts, the education, the awareness, and the advocacy. May, if you hadn't known, is National Foster Care Month. Debbie Johnston is a successful entrepreneur who was appointed Virginia's adoption champion by Governor Terry McAuliffe. My goal is to find permanent loving homes for all Virginia children. When I was two years old, I was put into foster care and very, very blessed that my parents made the choice to adopt me when I was six. It gave me a permanent sense of belonging and it gave me a family who have supported me throughout my life. They didn't ask to be in their circumstances. They really didn't. Hearing their stories. How they feel about not having a home. How they feel about being in several foster homes. Johnston just started the Connecting Hearts Foundation to give a voice to the 4,500 children in Virginia's foster system. We are focused on adoption and foster care, really collaborating with all of our partners, both Department of Social Services and the private agencies throughout the state to spread awareness about what's happening with our state. Children of all different ages that are looking for permanent loving homes. This is a huge problem across the country. We need some sustainable long-term goals that we can have for our country to really solve this problem. Well, as you know, we love to collaborate with everybody and anybody who's helping our 800 plus kids. So Change Who Waits is really unique because they give these kids voices. They take photos of them, they make videos of them. We actually go about it from the kids perspective of, of let's tell their story, take them from being invisible to visible and not only visible, but let's make these kids beautiful. Today, the Connecting Hearts Adoption and Foster Care Summit brought together adoption and foster care professionals. We're bringing the state together anybody involved in adopting, fostering our children in Virginia. Today, Governor McAuliffe set a big goal for adoption success. Let's make it a goal, all of us in this room, that one year from today, all 860 of these children will be adopted. How is that? Are you with me on that? All ages, mm -hmm. all races, and they're awesome. Mm -hmm. And they're our future, mm -hmm. and they need homes. And we want to find homes for all of them. My grandmother taught me that I was a chosen child. I'm one of the lucky stories, and I want to give that to everybody in our state. And Virginia's adoption champion and founder of Connecting Hearts in Virginia, and Barry Farmer, a uh, foster dad. I wanted to acknowledge a superhero, a dad who opened up his heart, his home, for not one, but three children. I thought that this is my way of giving back just through fostering, but then my fostering turned into an adoption. I feel that it's important for everyone to experience a family. When you foster to adopt, you're giving this child a second chance or maybe a third chance of having something solid, something meaningful, an emotional connection, a sense of belonging. If you're even thinking about it, don't hesitate to gather information and see if it's for you and see if you know this is the way you want to build your family and give this child a home because they're waiting for you. Foster to Adopt, we really want prospective parents to understand how they adopt from the foster care system. I have a special friend with me today, Hunter. Uh, some of my favorite things to do is reading anime books. Uh, I like playing video games. It's one I want to be when I grow up. I want to finish college, so when I'm done, I want to go to the NFL. So after that, I can go back up, and then I want to look in electronic technology. What makes you happy? What puts a smile on your face? Well, seeing people that I care about, and then I can see that they care about me, too. So we really hope that we've encouraged lots of families out there to consider adopting and being foster parents, and hopefully we'll get these families, these kids in, into some families. Thank you so much.